Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, I want to dedicate this recording to Karen. So, uh, Karen sent me a message telling me that she'd been suffering from anxiety and stress uh, lately and to top it off has gone and broken her foot. So what I thought I would do is make a recording aimed at providing some support for Karen but at the same time for everyone else that's listening as well so this is going to be a you know special recording I won't be saying Karen's name throughout although I've mentioned it about 10 times so far so you know it will be for everybody to listen to so that would be a bit jarring, wouldn't it, if it, someone's name is said, you know, lots of times throughout a recording. Unless, of course, it was your name, then I guess it would be quite good. So, to start off, I think it would be nice if we just close our eyes. I'm going to close my eyes. And just notice, notice how you're feeling right now. Notice any feelings of pleasure. Notice any feelings of pain. Notice any neutral feelings where it's just, uh, just, uh, you know, it's just no, no particular emotion connected to those feelings. And as you go through your body, you probably notice that there's more of that neutral type of feeling than there is of the uh, maybe an excitable feeling or a feeling of deep relaxation or a feeling of uh, stress or tension or pain. Maybe there's a higher percentage of just neutral And in and of itself, that neutral feeling is fairly relaxed. It's kind of the easygoing feeling. The sense of nothing's bothering you. There's nothing to worry about. That type of feeling. In a way, it's a very mindful feeling, even though you perhaps weren't mindful of it. But it's a, it's a quite a meditative sensation where you're just calm. You're just feeling quite stable. Now, when the majority of your body has a certain feeling of, should we say, calmness, calm neutrality, 
the sense of not really being swayed by emotion either way towards feeling really excited or or the opposite just very oh, almost peaceful peaceful feeling when you realize that even though a part of your body with Karen's example her foot has been in tremendous pain when the rest of the body feels okay when you realize the reality that actually the rest of your body does feel okay that larger feeling that bigger maybe 95% of your body that's feeling neutral it's feeling okay pretty calm maybe it's 80% maybe 70 or 60 percent but it's still the majority and when you wrap your mind around the fact that it is the majority of your body that feels okay And you realize that you've been allowing a small percentage to almost dominate your feelings or your emotions. Almost as if that part of your body or those uh, particular sensations whether they be pain or stress or tension they've almost been bullying the rest of your body almost as if they're bullying your mind grabbing always wanting your attention look at me look at me think about me give me your attention that small percentage of your body seems to be getting all of the attention. Yet that vast majority of your body in this situation may not even be raising a single thought. You may not be giving any attention until now upon those parts of your body that are feeling okay and this is very natural no judgment here it's the most natural thing in the world to uh, be focusing on discomfort it's the most natural thing in the world but it doesn't mean we have to do it. Because if you're going to continue doing what you were doing before, there'd be no reason to listen to me. There'd be no reason to allow your mind and your body to relax into the words that I say 
there'd be no reason to start noticing that the majority of your body, your limbs, your back, your stomach, chest, shoulders, neck, face, head, hands, fingers, toes, wherever it may be, the majority of your body actually feels quite calm. And although it's perfectly natural for us to focus on the negative or to focus on physical or emotional discomfort, doesn't mean we have to do it. It doesn't mean we have to continue to do it. For example, having a, a damaged foot. I've had a broken foot in the past and I know probably millions of people have had broken toes or broken their feet. And it is absolute agony when it happens and it's very very uncomfortable for you know a period of time while it heals but once you know what's wrong and you know the cause of that physical discomfort and providing you're careful don't go you know, playing football or doing silly things that would perhaps uh, damage yourself even further or cause more discomfort. You can relax. You can start to notice other parts of your body. other parts that may feel actually very relaxed because those parts that were neutral 10 minutes ago may actually be feeling more comfortable, there may be a degree of looseness spreading deep into the fibers of your muscles, and your mind may feel lighter, almost as if all those negative thoughts that may have been there previously have just floated away because they were no longer needed. We don't need to be constantly reminded of something that we already know about. So when you leave your house, for most of us, just taking your front door keys with you is enough. when you decide to travel back home after being out for the day or whatever you're doing just the front door keys is enough 
You don't need to carry around a picture of your front door or a picture of the front of your house in order to remind you of where you live. Because that information is there, it doesn't need any attention. Because it's pointless and it would be using energy that you didn't need to use focusing on something that you didn't need to focus on because it was giving, getting you nothing. Taking you nowhere. Pointless, useless use of energy. Because you know where you live. Now, of course, if you've just moved into your house, you may need to carry your address around on a piece of paper for a, for a while. Or if you're staying in a hotel on holiday, I know that I'd always have a, a piece of paper with the address down, with the number of the room, just so I don't try and get into someone else's bedroom. And that's natural. And once you're used to being there and you know your way around, you might have that piece of paper with the address on in your pocket, but you probably won't use it because you don't have to think about it. In the same way as if you've got something physical that you're dealing with that may be unpleasant at times you don't need to give it your full attention you don't need to give full attention to the healing process you can have trust in your own body's ability to heal itself just as it has done since the day you were born and that can feel quite nice to just take a break from that worrying, that concern, when it's not really needed, or necessary, or indeed useful. And something happens to that part of the body. You know, if there's a particular part of the body that's problematic, whether it's stress or physical you know, issues, once you start focusing on the rest of your body, on the majority of your body, and the feelings of either relaxation or feelings of neutral. What happens is the larger feeling starts to take over. In the same way as you can pour a big bag, well not big, but you could pour a bag of salt into a swimming pool full of water, like just clean, normal water.
leave it a little while, dissolve and, you know, and you can get into that swimming pool and not taste any of that salt because it just disperses the majority, the majority of the contents of that swimming pool, which is the clean, clear water. overtakes, absorbs, almost camouflages everything else. So the, that salt is just almost disappeared. Because in this case, majority does rule. When you focus on those feelings of comfort that are continuing to grow. Feelings of discomfort have no option but to start shrinking. These things don't happen just because I'm mentioning it. Because this is natural. So natural. to just let go, let go, let go. that majority increases down your spinal cord, spread into every, every part of your body. And it feels nice. be able to put no effort whatsoever into this and allow what's natural to naturally occur.
ready. Slowly Noticing the certain parts of your body joy. 